Base launch checked on countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone, my name is Zachary Lupin, and I'll be your host for tonight's Starlink mission set to lift off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida. If you've been following along, we had an abort called out at around the T-40 second mark during our previous launch attempt on Thursday night. This was due to elevated O2 or oxygen levels on one of Falcon 9's first stage engines. After inspection and checkouts yesterday, in addition to a successful static fire last night, all systems are looking good for a T-0 at 11.50 p.m. Eastern Time. Tonight's mission marks SpaceX's 47th launch of the year, 246th mission to date, as well as our final launch of the Starlink V1.5 satellites. The V1.5s, the V1.5s enabled global coverage for Starlink and represent about 67% of the current Starlink constellation. The V1.5 Starlink satellites also introduced laser interlinks that allow satellites over the ocean to talk to ground stations via a laser relay between the satellites. Some of those laser beams have traveled as far as 2,700 kilometers to other satellites in the network and were the real groundbreaking technology that enabled Starlink to be a true global constellation. It also really helps us manage user traffic at peak times in congested markets. Congratulations to the teams for those achievements. Now at this point in the countdown, the clamp arms have opened around the Falcon rocket and the strong back has, is retracting away from the rocket. The strong back is also called the transporter erector or TE, which is how we break over the vehicle from horizontal to vertical and how we route electrical connections and propellant to the vehicle before liftoff. Coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. Stage one, locks load is complete. And there's that call out that stage one locks loading is complete. Falcon 9's first stage is now fully loaded with RP-1 and locks, and we're awaiting completion of locks load on the second stage in about 50 seconds from now. Our Falcon 9 fuel is comprised of a propellant and an oxidizer. We use rocket propellant 1, or RP-1, which is a rocket grade kerosene, and liquid oxygen, or locks as our oxidizer. Now you can certainly see those white clouds coming from the side of the booster. That is the gas above the LOX tank venting out to maintain pressure inside of the tanks. Coming up shortly, we should hear a call out that second stage LOX loading is complete. The first stage or booster that's supporting this mission is flying for its 16th time. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship. Stage a short two locks load is complete. And there's that call out that stage two locks loading is complete. Uh, the booster will land on our drone ship a short fall of Gravitas, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. Coming up next, we should hear that our Falcon 9 is in startup, which, mean, which means that the flight computers have taken over the launch countdown.
Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. This means that the flight computers have taken over the countdown and the rocket is on internal power. In just a few moments, we'll hear confirmation from our launch director. SpaceX launch director, go for launch. And as you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for tonight's launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our last 54 V1.5 Starlink satellites into space. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Engines full power. And lift off of SpaceX Falcon 9. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from the Cape at 11.50 p.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And there you heard that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means that the rocket is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Back Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it descends through the Earth's atmosphere. And we're about a minute away from a series, of, has started. a series of events, MECO, stage separation, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin or M1D engines on the first stage shut down. This is followed by stage separation, which is when the first and second stages separate. Then we have SES-1, or second engine start one, where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And lastly, we'll have fairing separation, which is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from stage two. So keep an eye out for these events, which will happen in quick succession. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there we had Miko followed by stage separation and SES-1. Coming up shortly will be fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we heard and saw those two fairing halves separating and falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that flew on tonight's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for the ninth time and the other flying for its tenth. And we will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Doug. On your screen right now is a view of our MVAC engine at the very bottom of the second stage carrying our Starlink satellites to orbit. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a short fall of gravitas.
Now this MVAC engine will continue its burn for another couple of minutes, and you can watch the velocity increasing at the bottom right hand side of your screen. For those of you who are just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff at 11.50 p.m. Eastern Time from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Both Tonight. vehicles are still on a normal trajectory. Tonight's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 47th launch of the year and 246th mission to date. Now on your screen right now is a view of our MVAC engine on the second stage, currently carrying our Starlink satellites into orbit. From time to time, we may get views of our first stage as it descends back to Earth. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. The 54 satellites on tonight's mission will join the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over 1.5 million people around the globe. Starlink recently went live in Guatemala and Cyprus, with more countries around the world to be announced soon. Coming up in about 15 seconds, we should hear a call out for the Stage 1 Entry Burn Startup. Both stages are on a normal trajectory. Stage 1 Entry Burn Startup. And there's the callout for the Stage 1 entry burn. Stage 1, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines 1, 5, and 9 to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. Stage 1 entry shutdown. And there's that callout that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. The first stage used to launch our 54 Starlink satellites into space tonight is flying for the 16th time. Now we have one more burn on the first stage, and that is the landing burn, which should be coming up in just over a minute from now. The center engine, E9 specifically, is the engine that relights for landing burn to slow it down before it touches the drone ship. Stage one, transonic. And there's that call out that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Stage one and stage two, FTS host saved. Now coming up next, we have a landing burn on the first stage, which should start in about 20 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. And there's stage confirmation. The terminal guidance. There's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas. Keep an eye out for the landing legs that are scheduled to deploy just moments before the landing. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you have it, Falcon 9 has successfully landed, marking its 16th landing for this booster. And we are now awaiting second engine cutoff coming up in a few seconds. MVAC shutdown. Tonight's landing of our first stage marks our 207th overall landing of an orbital class rocket and our 246th mission to date for tonight's mission. 
Expected loss of signal cape. Nominal orbit insertion. And there's that call out for nominal orbital insertion. Now, as mentioned earlier in the webcast, tonight's launch marked the last launch of all V1.5 Starlink satellites. A huge thank you and congratulations to the entire Starlink team here at SpaceX. We look forward to launching V2s and V2 minis while further innovating our Starlink sats. And that will bring tonight's webcast to a close for this evening. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.